Hi guys, my name is Vicky Shandor and in this tutorial we will go through the Caramba toolbar layout you can see up here. Um, so going from the left to the right, the tabs are arranged with the same logic as the components inside are intended to be structured while you are setting up your Caramba 3D model. Starting on the left, you can see the license component. With this component, on one hand, you can read information regarding your license using the panel. Here you can see. And also, this is the component which activates your standalone license. Okay, next to it, we have the params tab. The params tab includes the so-called containers for Caramba 3D objects, like the beams, loads, models, etc. And they behave very similar to the default Grasshopper params components. They can also collect and internalize the data. The model tab includes components for assembling and disassembling your Caramba 3D model. But also here in the second part, you can see components which are able to convert geometry to the elements which you use in your Caramba 3D model. Here at the bottom, you have the component which can define your supports, which is of course very important and useful for your model. In the second tab, or it's already the fourth, but second load tab, you can see components which define external loads and also the imposed support movements. The cross-section tab includes the components which you can create, select, modify, and disassemble cross-sections for the elements. Material tab, uh, quite obvious, so this is the, these are the components which you can define and select materials with. Algorithm tab on the top, you can see um, it includes the components which uh, ca you can analyze the model with. And also with some you can analyze stress, displacement, buckling, the eigenmodes, natural vibration, and also you can optimize the cross sections of your model. We will go through later on these components in more detail. The result tab uh, includes components to retrieve and visualize results. We will also have a look later more in detail. There is the export tab, which uh, allows you to export your model to Airstab or robot format. And here in the last tab, utilities, include the components, which are, these are some kind of extra components, which uh, help you to set up your geometry for the Caramba 3D model. So I think this was it. Uh, and then we go to the next video to look at some other details of Caramba.